Hey, what's happening, man? Welcome back to No Jumper News. It's your host, A.D., here with Poetic Flacco. Let's get right into these stories. First story. Eric Holder has been found guilty for the murder of Nipsey Hussle. About three weeks after the trial started, the jury delivered his guilty decision in a courtroom in Los Angeles on Wednesday. For killing Nip, he was convicted guilty of first-degree murder. Holder shot two additional people during the murder. He was convicted of two counts of attempted voluntary manslaughter, two counts of assault with a firearm, and one count of having a firearm with a felon. He was found not guilty on a premeditated attempted murder. Holder reportedly kicked Nipsey in the head after shooting him. Early in the trial, the deputy district attorney Attorney informed the jury of the brutal details of the killing, claiming it was evidence that the assault was personal. He then told the rapper, you're through, to which Nissi replied, you got me. During the trial, Kenny Lathan, one of the victims who was shot in the back during the event, took the witness stand but maintained reasonably silent. On the day of the murder, Holder was with Briante Nicholson, who claims that Holder asked her to drive him around the block. When Holder got out the car, she noticed him holding a gun and heard gunshots. Holder sustained injuries during the trial after being jumped by inmates while waiting to be taken to court. Holder's injuries were included a significant gash to the back of the head that requires staples, caused the trial to be postponed for one day. I'm not surprised that they uh, found Eric Holder guilty. You know what I'm saying? This was a, uh, I seen a lot of conspiracies. People were saying, no, they're gonna, the government did this, they're gonna let them out and everything like that. I didn't buy that shit for one minute. Um, I think that it was clear cut. You know what I mean? The jury was gonna find him guilty and you know what I mean? Yeah, but. Here, so my like first like takeaway, man, is there are some unsung heroes. Like a shout out to Cowboy, right? So people were saying, yo, this is like clear cut. It's on camera that he did it. So I don't understand why Cowboy would even take a stand and testify. It wasn't clear cut, right? Because what it was 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 this a crime of passion or was this premeditated? And the crime of passion was from Eric Holder's defense was he was called a snitch and, and that's why he did it and he was just mad. Uh, Cowboy, I'm um, testimony help you know kind of like. Um, squared that away because Cowboy went ahead and stated, no, bro, like Nipsey never um, agitated him, right? Nipsey wasn't provoking him. He came um, back after they had a real decent conversation and killed Nipsey Hussle in cold blood. Now, I do want to say this, though. I don't think that it's enough that like one of Nipsey Hussle's friends is currently on the run due to a warrant from not coming to testify. Mm. So it's not okay that he has a warrant now and he's facing jail time. But the getaway driver gets away with this right now. She got away with it because she claims. Well, well when you when you uh, cooperate with them, that a lot of times I've seen this happen a lot of times. Yeah. If you cooperate with them early on, then they will usually be like, "You tell us the truth, and we'll get you out of here and shit like that." So, I, I can see that happening. But you know, to to double back to what you were saying too is that. Um, Shout out to my nigga Brick Baby. Mm -hmm. Brick Baby just did a Say Cheese interview, and he was saying, like, you know, he raised Eric Holder. He said he felt like uh, Nip hurt his feelings, and you know what I mean? That's why he feels like that he did it and stuff like that, you know? But that internal beef stuff, and when it come down to hoods, bro, like, the people in the public will never really know what goes on, why he was mad, what did Nip say, what did he did not say, and everything like that. Like, it's fucked you're, up. You're like... I'll keep it a buck. I don't even think it was Nipsey hurt his feelings. I think he came into that interaction mad because, like, check it out. So the woman who he was with, who he was fucking for about, like, five weeks, right? She said that when they was driving around, she spotted Nipsey and said, oh, my God, Nipsey's also, he's so fine. Let's go ahead and talk to him. I don't think that nigga did that over no female, bro. Yo, listen, if you're walking into, like, an interaction already mad at a nigga, and then a girl you're fucking no, said, said, because, say he's fine because, as fuck, come Because on. they said that he talked to him before that, bro. Yeah. Well, let me tell you one thing, bro. The, the worst thing that you can put on a gang member, bro, mm -hmm. is call him a rat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you don't have paperwork, if you don't have something, bro, you call somebody a rat, and then it's fucked up, too, that, you know... If you're a celebrity like Nipsey, if you if those talks are even there, people are not even going to look at the paperwork and find out if it's true or not. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They're going to go with the rapper anyway. So I can see somebody telling Nip like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I heard he's this, this, and that. And Nip like, hey, nah, like, like I don't know. Get your paperwork right and shit like that. And then that nigga taking offense to it. That makes more sense than him, a yeah. uh, girl saying that Nip's fine and then he want to go kill him for that. I don't. Oh I no, doubt no, that no, that no. Happen, bro. Oh no, no, no. Right. So like my like point of view was he already came in like pissed off 
And then once the snitching thing happened, that just sent him over the edge, right? Now, I did hear like two stories. Uh, one story was, yo, there's no paperwork on Eric Holder. He's not a snitch. I heard um, that as well. Right? And folks was putting that smut on his but name. But people do that shit all the time. They play around with that word so loosely now. So when somebody says it, even just having that allegation on you will make people look at you in a different type of light. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And if you're so-called somebody that's really, you know what I'm saying, putting on... And that comes up, it's like, damn, like, why yeah. would a nigga even play with me like that? You know what I mean? So, of course. you know, not, not I hate that all this shit yeah. happened, bro. Like, it's not justified. I don't think, I don't think no one should lose their life over nothing like that, bro. And, and, and it's just fucked up, man. We lost a, a great leader, bro, a, a legend, bro. Like, a legend. Now, the question is, though, so uh, he got found guilty of premeditated first degree murder. I'm, I'm not even sure if it's premeditated, but first degree murder. Now, the guidelines for that is 25 to life. Now, how long do you think Eric Holder would do in prison? Um, he probably gonna get life, bro. Life in prison? I think so. Now, do you think he's gonna survive life in prison? Depending where they place him, yeah, he could. Yo, cause like, I can't imagine somebody- They might put him, they might, they might, they might have him in a cell by himself. Bro, yeah. Forever, damn near. Nah, but I can't imagine Eric Holder agreeing to be in a cell by himself for the rest of his life, right? I feel like he would at some point say, yo, put me with the, you know, with um everybody else and fuck it. I, if don't, I, die, I, die. I don't think that he's going to put himself on that main line, bro, because, you know, even like going to court, you seen what just happened, bro. Like, this has nothing to do with the gang shit. Nipsey was loved by everybody, so yeah. people would love to, like, you know what I'm saying? Take a, yeah. take a, uh, I don't I want to say stab, but stab at him. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. Well, yeah, but man. you know that's they. It's it's fucked up all around, bro. It's fucked up all around, man. We lost a legend, you know. what I mean, some, some kids that gotta grow up, bro, without their father, bro. It's, it's 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 terrible, bro. I hate that that shit happened. I remember when the when I got the news, bro. I was bro. I was fucking like, damn, this shit is crazy. I never thought in a million years I would be saying, rest in peace to Nipsey. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Hey, man. You know, um, I hope justice prevails. YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. You even got to let us know how we did because Adam quit the show. So, uh, yeah, just get used to seeing this. Yeah, man. Thank you. Peace. Well, Adam really quit, though? No. <laughs>